I got afraid again to share the word of God. But I know this is not from God. This is from the devil to hinder me to do the word of God. But in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, it says, For God didn't give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. This verse encourages me always that I have to stand by my faith. So now I'm here. I will do my best, and God will do the rest. This message is about Christian ways. Let us pray first. Father in heaven, we thank you that we are here together this morning to serve you. We thank you, O oh God, that you give us time to study your word. We know, O oh God, that your word guards our spirit. It gives light to our path. So we pray, O oh God, that help us to study your word. We pray, O oh God, that we ask your Holy Spirit to be with us and lead us into understanding. Open our hearts, O oh God, and our mind, so that this message, we understand it well. Thank you, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Open your Bible in Hebrews 12. in the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Hope for the joy set before him. Enjoy the cross, is calling a chain and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Another one is in 1 Corinthians 24 to 27. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like a man running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. No, I beat my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the prize. Praise the Lord. Christian race. This race is a lifelong test of faith in this world. Test is also called trial or trials. James calls trials as the testing of our faith. Trial refers to some forms of difficulties and pressure in our lives, sometimes from, from the world or Satan, that God uses to test and prove our faith. 
and to develop in us perseverance and godly character so that we may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Our faith can only reach full maturity when faced with trials. Trials are sometimes brought into our lives so that God can test the sincerity of our faith. There is a difference between trials and temptations. Trials are something to be endured, and the end result, when they are endured in faith, is the crown of life. Temptations are something to be resisted, and the end result, when they are not resisted, is death. Temptations also are designed by Satan, the god of this age, to lead the believers into sin, which results in death. So God is not the source of our temptations, but Satan. God is, God is the source of death, which is good. Christian life is a race to be run by us believers in order to win the prize, the crown that will last forever, which is eternal life. When we accept the Jesus, as our Savior, we became born again through our spirit, and our race is started. We will experience persecutions, sufferings, and difficulties for the sake of the Lord. We experience them because we have the, we have the mind of Christ. To be a Christian means to be in Christ and to be one with Him as we share in his sufferings. So these persecutions, sufferings, and difficulties for the sake of righteousness are to be endured, but temptations are to be resisted. Paul was one of the examples of the characters in the Bible in running the race. He was a great apostle and leader among the first followers of Jesus. God called him to preach the gospel to the Gentiles. But before he was called by the Lord to be his servant, he was a great persecutor of the early believers, especially in the stoning of Stephen. His name before was Saul. He gave an approval to the death of Stephen. Paul also was a Pharisee. Pharisees means the separate ones in the New Testament times. They were the main religious leaders of the Jews. They believed in following the Old Testament laws very carefully. And they added also many of their own rules. So Paul that time he was a great persecutor of the early believers. And on his way going to Damascus to persecute believers, to put them in prison, the Lord called him. A bright light flashed around him, and the Lord talked to him. God's calling for him is to preach the gospel to the Gentiles and to suffer a lot for the name of the Lord's sake. Paul knew from the beginning that he will suffer a lot for the sake of the Lord. But he didn't give up. He didn't stop. But, but instead, he went straight and kept on running to finish his race. He experienced a lot of temptations. He experienced a lot of persecutions sufferings and difficulties for the sake of righteousness. But still, he kept on running until he finished his race. He ran with perseverance to win the prize. 2 Timothy 4, 7-8 